Hello, and welcome back to A Dose of Graciousness and Civility. I'm Jules Hurst, etiquette expert and your guide to navigating the fascinating world of modern etiquette and manners. Today, we're delving into a topic that's often a social taboo, yet practical reality, re-gifting. Is it an act of thoughtfulness or a faux pas? Stay tuned to find out the classy way to re-gift. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay updated on all of our latest content. And if you're a returning subscriber, well, welcome back. We love having you in our community. And with that, let's get started. Re-gifting. To some, it's often seen as a gray social area, but can be a thoughtful gesture if done correctly. It's all about intention and appropriateness. So let's unwrap the essentials of re-gifting together. Let's talk about the do's. Do re-gift items that are new and in their original packaging. For example, that unopened gourmet coffee set is perfect for the coffee lover in your life. You always want to consider the recipient's taste. A gift should always resonate with its new owner and not just because you're clearing out your closet. Now for the don'ts. A big no-no is re-gifting personalized items. That engraved picture frame meant for you, it's a keepsake, not re-gift material. And be mindful of your social circles. Re-gifting within the same group can lead to awkward situations. You wouldn't want your friend recognizing their gift at another friend's house. So there you have it, gracious givers. Re-gifting can be a wonderful way to share joy, provided it's done with care and thoughtfulness. Remember, it's not just about the gift, but the sentiment behind it. Do you have a re-gifting story you would like to share? Please put it in the comments below. If you loved our journey through the world of re-gifting, hit that like button and share with your friends. Together, let's spread kindness and a dose of graciousness and civility. Until our next etiquette adventure, stay gracious and grateful. If you would like to download our guide to 10 things to remember at the dinner table, the link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.